Would you serve shark fin at your wedding dinner? I would serve fish maw soup. It's the same, really. So, I don't think I would serve shark fin soup because wedding dinners are mine, so I don't have to, you know, convey, um, abide by the older generation kind of idea. I don't know, minestrone or something? Yeah, it doesn't have to be shark fin soup. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot more delicacies in the world than, than shark fin soup, and there are a lot of other soups in the world that, that taste even better or as good as shark fin soup. Like, like I said, the, 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 like Gordon Ramsay said, the shark fin is just basically taste, tasteless. I would serve it because, I mean, my parents like it, and, you know, it's all the older generation, which my aunts and uncles, they're all certainly, as in, if you don't serve shark fin, it wouldn't seem special. To serve or not to serve? Serving shark's fin soup at your wedding is a difficult call. Skip it and you'll offend your elders. Serve it and you upset wildlife lovers. So far, wedding couples here have erred on the side of tradition. Shark's fin soup remains a staple at most Chinese wedding dinners as it is still a status symbol and mark of wealth. A check with 15 hotels in Singapore revealed most hotels such as Meritus Mandarin, Marriott, Swiss Hotel and Fullerton serve shark's fin soup upon request. Only Shangri-La Hotels and Resorts and Fairmont Singapore have scraped shark's fin soup off their menus. In general, I think it was very positive. We did not really have a, a major negative impact in our, in our business. We had uh, um, many conversations with young couples that they are uh, getting married and they are very open to the, uh, to the idea of not serving shark fin, but usually it's their parents who still have a lot of weight in the decision on the, on the menu sometimes that's being served, that they really have a problem with that because for them it's a really very traditional uh, item. It uh, represents uh, uh, really the, the quality and the, and the menu and they really want to honor their guests in the right way and for them that means having shark fin in the, in the menu. So it's usually the parents and the older generation who is a bit more reluctant to, to the change. So what alternatives has Fairmont offer then? You know, and, and are they comparable? Uh, certainly, we are we are offering mainly uh, uh, soups based on two items: that is lobster and abalone. That uh, they are as uh, rich and uh, uh, expensive as uh, as the shark fin soup, and they certainly can give the really the, the status and the quality that people uh, wants to have. Fairmont Singapore has even come up with an alternative dish for those status-conscious couples who seek a replacement that rivals and even surpasses shark's fin soup. Other alternatives, uh, rather than shark fin, actually we do serve uh, this uh, dish, uh, this soup uh, called Double Boy Sea Treasure. I believe that uh, this Double Boy Sea Treasure is much more better in terms of uh, better to health than shark fins. Okay, uh, for ingredient uh, in Sichuan Court, I will use a uh, chicken. This is the chicken drumstick to make the soup more sweet. And uh, we got dry scallop, uh, fresh uh, lobster, sea cucumber, clam meat, and uh, this is the fish maw, abalone, flower mushroom, and the fish belly. Definitely this dish, uh, this soup will have much more cartilage than uh, shark fins. Because uh, shark fin is only have one piece or even a few piece, whereby it's very hard to be digested. Whereas all these, all these, they are full of cartilages. Uh, for example, this uh, fish belly, you can see here right now it's very white in color. But when it is totally steamed, uh, double boiled, when it's cooked, it will become transparent. It's like a jelly thing, something like a fresh cartilage, whereby it's very high in that and uh, fish maw and sea cucumber also. And for sea cucumber, uh, there's a lot of protein inside. So this uh, double boy soup is actually uh, very good for health. Chef Go added that another downside of shark's fin is that the human digestive system is not able to break down shark's fin if it is insufficiently boiled. Actually, shark fins, if it is not uh, boiled too very soft, it is very hard to be digested by the stomach. Whereas uh, for this uh, double boy sea treasure, all this, uh, the fiber is not as strong as the uh, shark fin. So after six hours of boiling, uh, all those uh, proteins and all those uh, minerals, every good things that will be inside the soup and you can eat the meat also. The tide against shark's fin soup at wedding dinners is slowly but surely rising. Hotels do serve alternatives which are equally expensive and nourishing and more Singaporeans are becoming aware of shark finning and its cruelty.
But why do some Singaporeans continue to consume shark's fin? We find that out next. <laughs> 